Hello, my sweets. It's Keisha. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you consider subscribing. On June 27th, I was live on Facebook presenting in a Makerthon for a Maker Studio. I wanted to share what I made with you all here on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing the entire Makerthon, you can join the Crafting a Beautiful Life Facebook group and search for Makerthon. There are a couple of other YouTube creators there that you may recognize. Also, I'm excited to share that I've started a private Facebook group called the Sweet Urban Rose Community. And I'd love for you to join and share your projects with me. The link for the group will be in the description box below. All right, without further ado, let's get to that project. It says I'm live, so I'm hoping I'm live. Um, hi everyone, my name is Keisha and I'm with Sweet Urban Rose, uh, which is on YouTube. I am a new YouTuber. I started my channel in February and it's been really fun. I wanna apologize in advance because I am extremely, extremely nervous. Um, this is my first time doing a public live um, on Facebook. Uh, this is also my first time using um, a Maker Studio products live. Um, so I guess we'll get to the project. I'm gonna have to turn my camera down because the um, project that I'm doing is pretty large. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera down and then I will try to keep talking. Um, I'm not gonna be able to see your comments too well and I apologize for that, but I will um, go back and if I can answer any of your questions, um, I'll answer them. If I don't know the answer, I will do my best to get the answer for you. Okay, so what I have here is a tray and I have this rub on. Uh, I think that's upside down for you. Okay, I have this rub on here and it's uh, give us this day our daily bread and it's a verse from um, Matthew 6, 11. And when I saw this rub on, I had to have it and I had to have it in my home. So <laughs> I wasn't aware of the size of it. Now it does come in at 16 and a half by 23 and a half. And um, as you can see here, the stencil alone is about 15 by 15, I think is what I measured. So I picked up this tray at Hobby Lobby because I was gonna do a little breadboard that I have here on hand. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't big enough. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna actually turn it this way so I can see it. But I did um, place some, some little tape pieces so I can find the center. I don't know if I can, without pushing everything off my desk here. I did put some little tape pieces here just so I can kind of get it centered um, on this on this board. And you want to tape down your design because this is a rub-on. You don't want it to go anywhere on you while you're trying to rub it on. So. Oh. Okay. kind of giving me the slip here. We'll rub that a little bit harder. Sorry guys, I hope your days are going well so far. Um, I've had quite an eventful morning. Like I said, again, this is my first time doing a public live. I've done like in private 
groups, but never um, for the public. So, what we're gonna do is rub this design down on here. And this is actually quite a large tray. And what I'm gonna be doing with this in my home, I do have a smaller apartment with a smaller dining table. And I'm going to actually be putting either command strips or some nano tape and hanging this over my dining room table. Now, if I ever entertain, then I have the option of pulling it down and using it um, to serve drinks or just to put food out on, which I think will be great because it's, it's a pretty substantial size. So when you're rubbing this on, and I'm so sorry if the camera is shaking, because you do need to give this quite a bit of pressure to rub this down on here. keep going you do need to rub this with it's not like anything strenuous but you do need to give it a little pressure for it to come off onto your project and you can kind of see here where it's getting lighter on the page that's how you know that it's transferring onto your project So I'm from, well, right now I'm living in Texas in the San Antonio area. And I didn't start out here necessarily. Um, just a brief history is um, my parents are Jamaican and they went to St. Croix in the 70s, late 60s, 70s, and I was born in St. Croix. And then they came to Texas, but then we moved to California and we spent about 20 years there and we moved back to Texas uh, in 2007. So I've been residing here back in Texas since 2007. All right, so you just wanna continue rubbing this down. And I wanna be respectful for the, of the time, so I'm going kind of quick here. But this would actually be an excellent housewarming gift. Uh, a wedding gift or a just because gift but because I'm just a little bit selfish just a little bit that's okay right I'm going to be keeping this in my dining room so you just want to keep going here this is actually quite the workout But I just know it's going to be beautiful. I do have some other pieces that I'm going to be showing you here as soon as I get done with this part. Hopefully I don't run out of time rubbing, rubbing this on before I can get to show you it. But if I happen to, um, I'm going to be posting pictures on my page and also on this Crafting a Beautiful Life page so you can see the end results. All of these products are just absolutely beautiful. Like, 
I just can't get over the quality. I mean, you really get bang for your buck whenever you uh, get these products. All right. So we're just gonna keep rubbing here. Keep rubbing. And I don't know if I mentioned, but this this um, tray that I have this on is approximately 20 by 20. So it is quite a substantial piece. And I have plenty of empty wall space that needs decorating. And I hope you guys are enjoying the presenters so far. I know I have been. I've learned quite a bit about the products so far of the presenters that I've seen. And I'm really excited about some of the things that I've seen and, and some of the things that I can do. coming into the home stretch. I think we're about three quarters of the way there. And this paper is good quality. You can hear me rubbing and you can probably see it on with the camera shaking, but um, it's not, it's not tearing at all. Just down here to the bottom. Check my time. I did also forget to mention that I did wipe this tray down with just a little bit of uh, water before I got started. Just to kind of clean it up a little bit. So I think we've got it all on there now. Ooh, I'm excited. Is anyone else excited? And there it is. A little rustic looking. I love it. Let me turn it around so you can kind of see it. I just love how this came out. And you want to be sure um, if you're, this is ink that's transferred, so you want to be sure to seal this um, because if it it'll bleed if it gets wet. So you want to use uh, your favorite sealer. Now to jazz it up just a little bit more because that's who I am. Um, I bought these little wooden pieces from 
um, Hobby Lobby. I have little designs here. And what I did was I took this, oh, let me turn it so you can see it. This um, Rescue and Restore paint is a chalky matte finish. And this is the Sunday Nap. I did two coats of that on there. And then I also took the Ceruthing Wax. After the um, second coat had dried, I took a chip brush and I brushed it on there. I waited a little bit and then I rubbed it off with a, a lint-free cotton towel. And so you get this nice little aging patina inside of this. So what I'm gonna do is take these and I'm gonna run them around the edge at the top and the bottom just to give it a little extra something, but also so that it's around the edge. It won't be in the way of um, anything that I may put on the tray. So I don't know if you can see how I have that set out here. Push it just a little bit further. So what I'm gonna do is take these and glue them down onto here. So it adds just that extra little piece, little something to it. But I love the subtlety of it. I love the rusticness of it. Um, I just, I love everything about it. So I'm gonna lay these out here. And um, again, if you wanna come back later on and see the finished, how it's gonna be displayed, I will have um, pictures up later on for you, to, for you to see that. Let me just bring the camera down again. Get to my sunshiny face. Again, I am Keisha and I'm with Sweet Urban Rose. And I just want to thank Amy and Marty and also a Makers Studio. And I also want to thank all of the other participants. Um, this is just, it's been nerve wracking, but it's been a lot of fun. And I can see myself being addicted to doing this. So, <laughs> all right. Well, I want to thank you so much and make sure you, um, Check out the rest of the presenters that are presenting today. See what they have to offer you. And I had a wonderful time. Thank you so much for tuning in. And again, if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if I can't answer them, I'll do my best to find the answer for you. Okay? Thank you. You enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Here I've included a picture of the tag that came off of the tray from Hobby Lobby. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button and leave me a comment below. If you'd like to see more, subscribe and choose all notifications so you don't miss my next video. Thank you so much for watching and remember, love, inspire, create. See you next time.